That's always an hour of my day. It's four in the morning. I know, like, this lighting totally terrible, but um, taking mom and dad to the airport, got a lot going on. And then I'm gonna try to come back and finish up my scent samples for the winter scents, and get those mailed out today. And then we had to take Ava to school, so let's get to it. Okay, so came home, got changed. We got the mailers out of the way. I went to the post office, mailed those off. I got some orders I need to work on. That way I can get them shipped out by tomorrow. And yeah, we're gonna work on some lip balms and body butters.
now that that's done, I'm going to head to the basement. That way I can work on some photos. Um, I've been getting orders like crazy for my bubble bath truffles. People love those things. So if you don't have that in your business right now, definitely consider making that. So right now I'm in the basement of my parents' house. Right now, if you guys know, I had to move from Alabama to Colorado. My husband's military and we moved here in March. The housing market is outrageous. We bid on a house that was 250, but our price of bidding was 350. So we overbid by 100,000. Well, we were outbid. That person paid 500,000 for the house. If you guys have been watching news, you know. It became like a bidding war. And then now we're dealing with the part where interest rates are crazy. This will be my third home I'm purchasing. And literally, I just, I can't see paying $3,800 a month in a mortgage. There's no way. So, we're in the midst of that and now we are looking to just rent because my stuff has been in storage and I'm really just cramped in the space. But I'm glad I went through it because I'm able to revamp how I did business. So I would definitely make products, have them on the shelf, ready to go with labels, bottles, the whole shebang. But ever since I went through this process, I've been doing made to order because I lack the room to store anything. Looking at the financial part of your business, I do see that it does save my business money in the long run because I'm not using labels that I haven't sold the product yet. I'm not over ordering and I have zero product waste because why everything is made to order. So yeah, if you're like me and you're struggling, like finding space for stuff, that is something that you need to consider. Um, in one of my vlogs, I talk about how I Photoshop my labels onto my product because yeah, I carry over 37 cents and it's nearly impossible to take pictures. So. If you want to see how I did that, click the video above. So right now behind me, excuse the mess. If you see on the floor, I have paint canvases that I use as my background for now. I do have a photo box, don't have it with me. Like I said, I wasn't planning on keeping it in storage this long, but you know, life happens. So I definitely improvised. So my background is white and I do like adding just a little bit of oomph in the background. Um, whether it be flowers or something. So I got this from Michael's. It's kind of like a Christmas flower. And I felt like it was too plain. So I added like another accent to it. It's just a little something that can go in the background. So now that I have those pictures taken, I need to upload them and edit them. I do most of my editing on the phone, but I have Wix and I love Wix. I had Shopify for like a week, hated it, but Wix, does have an amazing photo editor. If you guys are looking into that, they use Ascend, so great program. And here how my photos turned out. If you guys want to, go ahead and check out the website. I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. If you ever have issues with somebody stealing your photos, I use a program called Pixie. Pixie is completely free to sign up and all I do is upload all my images on there and it kind of works by doing a reverse image search 24 seven. Yep, that's right, 24 seven. I quit watermarking my photos because of this. Now they do offer different services where you can open up a lawsuit against somebody and stuff like that. Me personally, I take it to my CPA. He's also a lawyer, so he definitely deals with that. If somebody's using your photo, you get paid royalties, and that's more money for your company. It's super easy to fight because when you upload an image, your IP address is on there. And if somebody steals it, it's still connected to that photo. Now, let's say they screenshot it and crop it. It's still easy because when you upload it to Pixie, there is a date where you uploaded it and then there will be a date where they uploaded their photo, proving that it was your photo to begin with. So if you guys want to try out something new, look up Pixie and know I am not affiliated with them. Now that I'm done there, 
I am going to pack my orders. So I'm at like a little packing station desk here where I pack all my orders. And yeah, we're gonna get that going, guys. I pack everything in these little cute little mesh totes that I got. I used to ship everything in these boxes, but I found that it's cheaper to actually mail in a poly mailer. Better for me, better for my customers. Well, I offer free shipping anyway, so definitely better on me since I cover all my shipping costs. And I just make sure, like, if you see the boxes behind me, this is like recycled bubble wrap and stuff. I just wrap it around the actual product to protect the product before I mail it. Okay, I'm done. You ever had one of those days where you're just like over it? I'm having one of those days. Well, I mean, we did wake up at what, 4 a.m., so. Oh, no light. Sorry, guys. So I'm gonna get a quick bike to eat, watch an episode of, what is it, House of Dragons? I just got into that show. I just never have time to watch it. And after that, work on some listings. It's gonna be time to get Ava. Okay, so totally spaced out that I was vlogging, but I got everything uploaded to the website. Yay. You guys, today, today's not it. Alicia's tired. Oh my gosh. But this is a typical day for me and it's only going to get worse throughout the holiday season. We're only gonna get busier. Let's go pick up Ava from school. So we are back and no, we are not working for the rest of the day. It is family time. So it's about 4.20. I got back late, traffic was whew, horrible. Ava has swim practice at 5.30 and I have got to get a quick meal done before we leave or we're just gonna starve to death by the time we're done swimming. You guys are gonna make a quick recipe with me that I got off of the TikTok. It's some kind of buffalo stuffed cheese ragoon. Look, we're gonna try it. We're gonna side it with some mac and cheese. Quick, simple, and easy. We have shredded rotisserie chicken. Um, I am tweaking this recipe that I got. His name is Devin Gates. He's on TikTok and it's a chicken wonton kind of, buffalo chicken wonton. So I'm gonna put the adobo, garlic pepper. Um, and then I didn't have like ranch seasoning. I'm not big on ranch, so I'm gonna use this emerald Cajun one. This is the best buffalo sauce. If y'all haven't tried this, definitely check it out. And cream cheese is gonna go in there along with ranch. It didn't take me much longer to realize that I probably needed a bigger bowl. So you know what just occurred to me is that I do not know how to even press a room together. Yeah. So how? So I'm just gonna push here and does that look right? Are you asking me or the camera? I'm asking you. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> it's gonna cook. <laughs> I don't know how to do like a wonton ragoon. I mean, I guess that's good enough. It's it's sealed. So that's the point, right? Okay, so we're gonna let those hang out in the fridge until I get back home. Ava has swim practice. Yes, it is girls swim season, if you didn't know. So, 
that is from 5 30 6 30. yeah oh, i need a nap whenever i get tired this is definitely my go-to right here um they used to sell these in Publix in alabama but we got them on amazon now Hello. <laughs> you tired too? No. We are back. That's always an hour of my day. Let's get to cooking dinner. Well, you guys, that is a wrap on today. I am totally exhausted. Thank you for spending the day with me. I'm gonna enjoy a bubble bath truffle, a good glass of wine. I will see you guys on my next vlog. 